Welcome back to the Yard of Math. Greetings, Earthlings. All right, today's question, today's topic is why is Terence Tao the world's best mathematician? Now, first thing I want to start off with is why the title. This title is inspired by the video on Number Files YouTube channel, The World's Best Mathematician, which is on Terence Tao. I use the term best sarcastically, um, A, because he used it on that channel. And so there, there is some merit to that, but don't take it too seriously. I don't really believe it makes sense to rate mathematicians at the highest levels of like who's number one and who's number two. So it, the way I want to use it in a genuine way is just more to mean that he's just great. Okay, so we're, we're not comparing him against any other person. All right, warning, strong opinion ahead. So I am super excited about this video and the related video, which will be on the myth of genius. And this will be part of a new series that I'm going to be making on this channel. This video is going to be a little out of order, but I'll put them in the right order later on. So the series will be on my educational philosophy and general principles. So I might call it EPGP, whatever, we'll see. So let me get straight to the answer. So why is Terence Tao the world's best mathematician? Terence Tao is one of the best mathematicians because he loves, it's simply because he loves math more than almost anyone else. That might seem really simple, really ridiculous. You guys might strongly disagree. That's all there is to it. So what evidence is there aside from that other myth of genius video that I'm going to do in conjunction with this one? So I encourage to... I encourage you guys to watch Number Files video, the world's best mathematician, together with this video so you can know what I'm referring to. So check out Terence Tao's interviews in general on YouTube, but especially the Number File one. So these are going to be referring to this one. So at 422 in the video, there's this quote, Terence says, I think I was more obsessive than competitive. I wanted more to know the answer than to win. So he's curious. So by the way, when I say love earlier on, that could, there's a lot of synonymous words. So I might use passion, interest, but all of these basically I'm referring to the same concept. So he really wanted to, to know. So it's not that he wanted to be number one. He really wanted to know. Okay. So then six minutes in around six minutes in, this is not what he said. This is just my take on what he says. So he doesn't idolize geniuses like many people do, which I'm convinced is harmful. Instead, he simply learns from them. Also, so this is a little less relevant to that answer, but this is just a point I wanted to mention. Also, if you listen between the words, so just like you can read between the lines, if you listen between the words, just to his energy and vibe, so just take in, you know, like a feeling you get from watching him, I think it's going to become apparent you will sense his passion for math. So just listen and observe and I think you, you will definitely feel how passionate he is about math. And this is where things get pretty controversial and I'm firmly convinced that I'm correct and this notion needs to go. So, And this is not to, by the way, to insult him in any way because he's awesome. So. I don't believe for a second that Terence Tao or any other person is a math genius. So he is no math genius. He is super passionate about math. So in, in a later video, the myth of genius, I'll really go into this concept, but basically being passionate is going to lead him to appear to be a genius. So, so that's basically going to be the premise. So that's kind of the gist of what I wanted to you know, mentioned in this video, but I also want to relate it to the previous video in this series, which is, which was on math as a skill versus math as an art, meditation, fun, play. And I just want to say on that, that, well, let me back up on the, he's not a math genius point. What makes him so special, what makes Terrence Tao so special is that he has nurtured such a great love for the subject of math that that is what has propelled him to extraordinary heights. So in short, if you just listen to him speak, you can hear his passion for the subject. So I would argue that he's not necessarily smarter 
than other ordinary professional mathematicians. He simply loves or is just more excited about math than almost anyone else. And that love is not just an abstract thing. It's going to get translated into, into action and, and studying and all that other stuff. All right. So again, I'm, I'm going to talk more about that in the Myth of Genius video. So in the previous video on math as a skill versus math as an art, we kind of discussed both, both the takes on it, and I really want to hammer home this point, which is if you ever want to get great at something, so if you ever want to be super great, and you're just going to view math as a skill or any other subject, you will never get great. So if you don't have any interest or passion, you're just good at something or you just know the skills, you're not going to, you might get good. So like, don't get me wrong. You might get pretty good. I mean, especially if you're comparing yourself to others, you might be around people that are not good at all. You might get really good. But if you look at any person sort of throughout history, anything that's up, super great, they have passion at what they do. So for those of you that are still kind of uninterested in the math, in math as in, in this like math as an art meditate as this sort of beauty component of math and you know i can understand so you're pro you, you might be thinking like hey dude just give me the core content to build up my skills so that i can be good at math for my class and get hundreds i don't have time for all this artsy fartsy stuff so like i said let me you will never get great if that's your approach that said i understand a lot of you you know, math doesn't have to be your favorite subject in the world. So maybe you do just want to improve your grade and not be confused in class. So I get it. That's cool too. So in that case, you know, take this whole video and like forget the math part. Just apply this to any other area you're passionate about. So, you know, if, if you're not really passionate, if you stop being passionate or you're not really interested in it, just realize it's going to get hard to be good. So... Also, okay, so that's that. So let me end with this. I highly, highly recommend the Myth of Genius video that's going to be on my channel, which is part of this EPGP series, which is Educational Philosophy and General Principle, which is going to be a very high-level series, unlike this Art of Math series, which is purely math-based. So in that series, I'm going to go into a broader discussion on genius and my sort of issues with it and just a lot of thoughts on that okay so and i if you enjoyed this video if you sort of enjoyed my like maybe you know maybe a lot of you think overly simplistic take on basically he loves math and that's why he's so awesome at it so if you enjoy that i'm really confident you're gonna like this myth of genius video okay so next up in the series we're gonna resume our math and nature and art mini section and, and start with some infinity, explore some infinities. All right, I will see you guys there.